Hi, this is Asen. Today I would like to share how to enable or disable a command button on the user phone automatically when certain conditions are met. First, of course, what we need to do here is insert a user form. Then we design the user form according to our preferences. Okay, so if let's say I want this user form to serve, serve as a personal distill form, so what I will do here, I will first label this user form as personal details so caption here i change to personal details okay then i will change to the font size that i want and also the type of font that i want okay then after that i will just copy this one and provide some information okay so for copy instead of copy paste we can press the CTRL the control button then we drag okay also can have a copy paste function okay I will change to regular okay then under this one I will change to name okay then I just drag then change to age then change to contact number contact number okay and so on okay after that of course we need to provide some space for the user to fill in so we just insert the text box okay so we design times new normal then the size 18 okay then we just drag and Track. Okay, after everything already designed, so what we have to do here is insert a command button. So for this command button, okay, of course we can decide according to our preferences. So maybe we can change some color here. Okay, after that we design the size and the type. Okay, then caption I will change to that. Okay, so after that, we just double click to insert the code that we want. So let's say the user are able to click this button, means that everything supposed to be filled in. So what we have to do here, we just close the user form. Or maybe you can insert any code that you want. Okay, then if let's say the user did not fill in did not fully fill in everything that we asked then the user should not be able to press this button so what we have to do here is we just change the click to mouse move okay so under this mouse move we just insert a condition so that we can prohibit the user to press the button okay so since we have three text boxes there so I will use a for loop so from 1 to 3 okay then I will put the condition so if user form one dot okay the text box since we want to use the text box as a variable so what we have to do here we have to make use of the control function so we just use control function then bracket okay after that make sure that the make sure the words that we type here are correct we have to bear in mind that these are key sensitive so means that the t and the b must be capital letter okay then with the emphasis then i so means that we will run from the user form text box 1 to text box 3 so if let's say the text box without anything then we should disable the command button so user form 1 dot command button 1 dot enable equal to false means that we will change the command button to disable mode then and if okay 
after we've done the first one then we have to go to the next next text box so it means that next i okay we can check and see check our output okay before that let's insert a command button to call the user form okay then we just design according to what we want okay here we can write fill in form okay change also the font size and the type bow okay after that what we have to do here is insert a code to call the user form so we just type user form one dot show okay then we see our output okay and click the design mode so when we click this one the user form will out as we can see if let's say we do not feel anything okay when we move to the button this button will become disabled so it means that the user cannot click anymore so however if let's say we fill up already but when we come to this button still not able to press this is because it's already become disabled so it means that the VBA cannot read any other code anymore so what we have to do here is we have to insert another command button okay but we just make this button to be invisible so it means that a hidden button so we just send that word okay then we double click on the button then we look for command button 2 after that change click to mouse move then we just delete the click okay after that what we have to do here maybe we can prompt up message box to tell the users that everything must be complete we have to bear in mind that if let's say the first button is not disabled so it means that everything is already filled up then this button will take any effect because it's at the bottom of the first button so it means that the mouse cannot sense the second button however when the sec when the first button is become disabled then the mouse can send the second button then only this code will be executed okay then what we have to do here is we use this button to enable the, use the button one so we change to through okay we have to bear in mind if let's say this one is true then nothing will happen here if this one is false then only the mouse can send the second button okay now check the output okay we click so if let's say i did not feel anything when i come to the button as you can see the message box is already out so when i click on ok then turn back to enable mode but if let's say i move again become disabled so if I say I fill in something here and when I come to the button, okay, nothing, no message box is pumped out. So we can click here. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.